Stanford University. For the past 12 years, we've been working closely with a group of Australian Aborigines who refer to themselves as Mardi. Folks like Mardu and Mardu themselves have lived in the Western Desert for many, many millennia. Mardu use fire especially for hunting monitor lizards. Women will set a fire line and clear off a tract of old growth spinifex and follow in behind the flames and track the game to their wintertime dens. And then they'll probe those dens and excavate the goannas within them. The boots on the ground, the pedestrian hunting like this, on a regular basis, creates a very patchy mosaic on the landscape. With just a little bit of rain six months to a year after, you're going to have all kinds of mature plants coming up. And the plants that come up are not just the spinifex grass that you've burned off, but they're the seed bank from a lot of other plants. A Mardu hunting regime, which creates more diversity on the ground, mediates against climate-driven wildfires, which are massive and have devastating consequences on the biota in the region. The moral of the story is we really, really need folks who know what they're doing and how to manage these resources out there. These communities are sanctuaries. They're sanctuaries for their culture. They're sanctuaries for the very desert biota. And without support for these communities, we will be losing a critical component of global biodiversity. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.